Hey everyone, I have a card share for you today. Um, I used a lot of products from my stash that I've recently purchased, so I wanted to share this with you and also show you what I did use because there's quite a, a lot of products. Um, the first card that I made is going to be using all of these products here, the Trinity Stamps standalone die set for Make a Spaceship. This is the die. Um, Trinity Stamps Craters Layers 6x6 Stencil. And here's the stencil. It's actually a layering stencil, stencil, and it has all of the parts and pieces that are cut out, so you can actually use them for masks. This MFT In the Spotlight stencil. This sentiment from Paper Tray Ink, um, Sentiment Staples Birthday. This Tailored Expressions, um, Mythical Grumplings. I used the Yeti out of here. You can see I cut extra pieces mm -hmm. that I had stamped out. This MFT Space Explorer stamp set. I used a um, sentiment as well as one of these Space Explorers. And uh, lastly, Trinity Stamps Slimline Space Swirl. So this is... Um, a big stencil set for making like a, a swirl that you would see like in the galaxy and you'll see it on my card um, inks and other things so I did use my white gel pen as well as a white Karen de ash colored pencil some of this dis distress glaze I use this over top of the distress ink so it doesn't reactivate with your fingers touching it you have to use this after you're done with all your adhesive, though. Otherwise, your adhesive won't stick. So this is the last step in the in making the card. Um, these Distress Oxide inks, Chip Sapphire and Faded Jeans. Those are the blues in my Cosmic Swirl. And the Black Soot is also in the Cosmic Swirl. This is Distress Oxide ink, but I also use the... Um, black soot in the regular distress ink too around the edges of the card because it's more transparent. Um, this is the ink colors I used to make the crater um, using the crater stencil. So it's Altenu, Evening Gray, Moon Rock, and Lava Rock. Those are the three colors. There's actually four in a set so I only use the three uh, darker colors. And then I use my uh, blending brushes. I have I have multiple sets. This is the set for my oxide inks, but I use those. And here is my card. This is a slimline card, so it is cut to eight and a half by three and a half um, for the panel. Um, the base is uh, eight and a half by seven inches. So you're basically cutting a uh, letter size piece of paper down to seven inches on one side um, and then uh, scoring it to three and a half so the panel on the front and this paper is um, paper tray ink stamper select white so it's pretty heavy duty it's like 110 pound um, and it can take all this ink you can see here that um, I've got a lot of things going on here I did use vellum so for the stencil from MFT that spotlight stencil I traced the stencil onto vellum and then I cut hand cut it with my scissors. Um, so after I Copic colored all of these, um, the images, the um, astronaut and the Yeti, um, I have all the colors. I'll put them in the description box below if you're interested in the different colors and I'll actually bring it closer. Here's the Yeti. <laughs> I hope you can see that well enough. And then here is the Space Explorer. That's getting lifted by the spaceship. So you can see here, here's all that distress, distress ink through the stencils. Um, you can see the craters here at the bottom. And you can also see the cos cosmic swirl here in the back. And then the die for the spaceship is here. And I used uh, black cardstock, um, some foil silver cardstock, and then some vellum back here for the window. <clears throat> that's um, behind the Yeti. And then the um, 
sentiment on the front is actually um, heat embossed with white detail embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. And then I used a um, the stamp from Paper Tray to stamp Happy Birthday, Here's to Many More. And this is um, using the Distress Oxide inks um, in the blue. And then this one is, I think, Versafine in black. So that is my first card. This one took me quite a while to do, um, but I like how it turned out. So that's the first card. Now, the second card is quite different, um, but I will tell you it's using some of the new stamps uh, from my Ink Road haul. And so if you have kids in the room, perhaps, you might want to cover their eyes or something like that, um, because this one is not PG. <laughs> so I'll show you first the um, stamp set that I use for the background. This is a big um, text and texture bokeh. Stamp set. It's a two-layer stamp. You can see it here, um, and this is what it creates. So for this ink, I used the paper tray ink, Aqua Mist and Hawaiian Shores. I believe are the two colors that I used here. And depending on how many times I stamped it, because I actually used my um, Stamparatus to do this, um, the colors turn out a different color. Like if you stamp it more than once per color, then it will get darker. So. This one is not the one that I use, so now I have an extra one. And I just die cut the rectangle out because it's not a A2 exactly. Um, so that's the first stamp. And then I use the die cut from this one and the stamp and this stamp right here um, from the set. So here's the die. Is it upside down? No, this way. Here's the die. And that mirrors the stamp right here. Um, and then I use this right here. So this one, here's the card. Um, so you can see how that turned out. I used some, uh, again, silver foil cardstock uh, for, the, for the die cut. And then I uh, have a banner die um, from Tailored Expressions. It's actually a sentiments die that cuts a whole bunch of them. Um, I just used the shortest one that was out there and then stamped this sentiment on here. So um, the other thing I did was I um, used a, another stamp set, this one right here from Tailored Expressions. This is from the Grumpling set, um, Big Grumpy Birthday. And um, this person's turning 50. So here is the Make-A-Wish sentiment on the inside. And then I also used... This stamp from um, Paper Tray, it's called Fiesta Flag Birthday. And the reason I used it is because it has a candle with a flame attached, and it's really tiny. You can see it's really smaller than my finger um, there, but there it is. I stamped it 50 times using Versa. Uh, actually, I tried it with Versafine. That didn't come up as dark as I wanted it, so I actually used the Aqua Mist ink um, to stamp here to give it like a tone-on-tone -tone sort of... Um, background. So there's 50 candles here. That's quite a bit. So this is my second card that I did this weekend. So that's my share for today and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey guys, I'm here to show you a demo of this envelope um, builder slimline series um, die from Trinity Stamps. This is the name of the company. You can go to their website to order this die if you're interested. I don't get paid for any of this. I'm just showing this because somebody had asked to see it. And since I have to make one, I'd go ahead and share this um, process video. I don't like doing these because I'm I'm able to figure this, this out normally without this, without um, having somebody do this. But I'll say if next time if you're interested in this and I don't get to it, if you search for that company's YouTube pay YouTube channel or on their pages they will probably have somebody assembling this die for that for you or you know any other die if you're buying from a branded company so i have gone ahead and cut um all the pieces out so you wouldn't have to hear that um using my gemini um this cardstock is enchanted evening from paper tray ink i've also used this one in one eighth inch double-sided tape that i got from tuesday morning um, to make this faster, you will need two of the flaps. This is a single die, so you'll just need to run it again in a second pass um, to do that. You'll also need one of each of these tabs 
Um, I've already uh, gone ahead and scored the flaps because they're already pre-scored when you run the die through. And then this is the back piece. So you just need one of those. Um, so what you do first is you assemble the so side flaps. And of course, if you have nails, it's much easier to take off the little white adhesive piece. And what I do is I take the back piece. And you can cut these from different colors if you want. I um, didn't do that. I just line it up to almost to that line the score line you don't want to go over it because of course this is your um piece for the back or i'm sorry the flap you don't want to over shoot the score line you want it to be able to fold so you see what i did and i'll just put my finger down on that and then the same thing for this side i hope you can see the score line pretty well um because it's the same color, you know, paper. So um, basically there it is. So again, I'll do this on the other side. And don't overshoot the score line. Don't, don't, don't adhere the paper on top of that score line. You want it to fold. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think your recipient's going to be looking, oh, my card isn't, or my envelope isn't exactly right. So now you have this. And see how it folds like that? Okay. Um, before I actually adhere this down, or one of these flaps down, I'm going to put in the next two pieces, which are the rounded end and that straight edge side. So again, there's a score line here. All I'm going to do is line it up so that the flap is inside and and right up to butting up to that score line so that you can actually fold it like that see that same thing with the other side um, take that flap all the way up to the edge of the score line press down and now what you have is you're fully assembled well it's not fully assembled see how you have that so now you're going to take the flaps and um, on one on one flap only, on the inside of the flap, you want to place some of this double-sided tape along the edge. And I'm only going to do one line because, and you want it on the edge because you don't want it to be up in here. You know, you want it right on the edge of the flap so that when you take it and stick it down, the two flaps stuck together and you can slide your card in um, and then this piece you're going to also put some adhesive on and again take it to the edge of the flap on the on the outer edge See, I like this better than that pink stuff the pink tape or the whatever you call that stuff um, so now you've got it going on there um, it's an envelope you can fit your card inside there's a little bit of room. You see that? There's room on either side of the card. So if you had a dimensional card, you could probably fit a little bit in here. Not too much dimension, but a little bit. And it goes down in there, and you still have that little lip. And it closes. So um, I could actually put this frame on here if I want. And then um, what I would do, because this is a very dark color, um, I tend to, if I use dark colors, I will... Not this pen... I will use a gel pen to um, write who the recipient is. Um, or if I'm adventurous, I might decorate it, but I probably won't do that because the card took me long enough. So that is the assembled um, policy envelope for a slimline card from Trinity Stamps. And I hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye.